Hello friends, my name is Rayal Amel and welcome back to some more Gran Turismo 2. Today we're continuing on with our Let's Play and this is episode number 50. And in today's episode we are going to be carrying on the one make races up here in the East City. And we're actually going to be carrying on with the Nissan one make races. And we have the Nissan Micra Cup for today. So for that of course we are going to need a Nissan Micra. Now, those of you who've been watching this series for a very long time know we already have a Nissan Micra. However, I've decided to buy uh, the 97 model uh, just to add some variety to the show. Anyway, I'm going to buy it in this light greenish silver pearl metallic. Sure, um, why not? Let's buy that. There we go. All right. I am going to go ahead and just do a couple of modifications to this vehicle. I will see you people in a second. Okay, so there we go, that is the Nissan Micra modified up, it's running about 180 brake horsepower as most of the small cars do once they are upgraded. Anyway, as usual, we have two events, we have a normal style and a racing style. We're going to do the normal style event first and that of course goes to a random course. Let's get into it. Okay, so our race with the Nissan Micra head to the Trail Mountain Circuit. Uh, so let's see how well we do here. Um, so, yep, we're using the 97 Micra. This is not the Super Turbo, uh, which is the, of course, the superior vehicle. That's the one that I have for my first car in the series. As you can see, there's three of them there. They've got rally spotlights and everything. However, I've got to be honest, I don't know what it is about this car in Gran Turismo, but I kind of like the way this car looks in this game. Um, I'm, I don't mind the um, this particular generation of Micra, I can't remember quite which gen it is, I believe this is a second gen model, but this is a second gen facelifted model. Um, yeah, I, to be honest with you, this is my favourite generation of the Nissan Micra, and I've always kind of liked this generation. I know they're a little bit vanilla, you know, I know that they're not particularly fun. However, um, I quite like them. Um, this was sort of one of the cars that was in the running um, to become uh, my IRL vehicle. Um, but I ended up getting... Um, well, this was essentially... Um, if I don't have quite as much money as I hopefully will do, um, I will have to end up either getting a Citroen Saxo or one of these. And thankfully, uh, I run into a bit more money. And um, yeah. So, I didn't end up with a Micra or a Citroen Saxo, um, but I definitely wouldn't mind ending up with the Micra. Pretty reliable vehicles, pretty robust as well. I mean, the 1 litre uh, Nissan Micra still has uh, 4 valves per cylinder, which is quite amazing. Um, I mean, some modern vehicles don't even have that. Or at least I don't think they do. Um, I know some Fiat's are still running 8 valves, I'm not sure about the rest of uh, the new car market, but yeah, um, it was definitely a pretty advanced vehicle for its time, and it's still pretty decent. I mean, most of them are still on the road. They they were pretty well built. Um, they didn't really rust away like some of their rivals did here, which, such as the Ford Ka, um, which I actually saw. I saw a model today. Um, I was in a traffic jam and I had a 55 plate, uh, which, yeah, that's 2005 to 2006 in case you're wondering. Um, it was the same age as my Fiat and it was actually starting to rust at the arches, uh, which I found kind of uh, amusing. But here you go. Uh, they say how badly Fiat's are made, but hey. Um, also, that doesn't give you GM guys a, a, a chance to come in and say, Oh, well, my truck, you know, has been around for... I don't, I don't care. <laughs> a, a voxel of equivalent age would probably rust it away by now, so, yeah, I'd be quiet. Um, but yeah, Nissan Micra, not a bad car. I, I won't make this a hate fueled rant against Vauxhall and Ford. Uh, well, actually, no, Ford's good. Uh, Vauxhall's not so much. Um... <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I'm a Ford person, you can probably tell. Um, ooh, understeer, there we go. Uh, in case you're wondering how the Micra drives, it drives like every single other small car that we've driven with about 118 horsepower, say for the Fiat Cinquecento. It's pretty good, a little bit understeery, um, but overall it's pretty decent. 
uh, not a particularly blistering lap time. We didn't actually leave all the rest of the micros in the dust either, which is kind of surprising. All the super turbos won, apparently. The super turbo is definitely the way to go when you are picking out your Nissan Micro, apparently, but we already knew that. Anyways, we get a grand total of 3,000 credits. Wow. Yes, anyways, I will see you in a second. Okay, so of course it is now time to racing modify our Nissan Micra. Um, both versions of the Micra can race modify the Super Turbo. The reason I didn't really go with the Super Turbo is because the race mod isn't particularly exciting. Admittingly on this model it isn't, but I kind of like the way they do this model. It kind of reminds me of like a sort of afterthought. Uh, that sounds like a really bad word. Um, I can't think of the word. It looks like a sort of amateur cup race car, and I kind of like that. Anyways, I'm going to go for this sort of bluish slash purple-ish indigo... Indigo what? I'm sorry, um, it's midnight. You can probably tell. <laughs> oh, I'm really tired. I do apologise. Anyways, let's head into the next race, which is for racing-style vehicles on a random course once again. Oh, hey, guess what? It's time for test course again. So the last time we was here um, was with the Peugeot 106 I believe. Um, so let's see how the uh, Nissan Micra copes with this. Of course we've got some, actually we've got two of the Super Turbos and then the rest of them are these 97 Micra SRs. Um, although admittedly they're all in different colours which it has to be said is something. Uh, this green one will not get out of my way apparently. There we go, let's switch into fifth gear. Of course, we only have five gears, uh, as one would probably expect. Now, I can't actually remember how quick the Peugeot was. I believe that did about 250 kilometers an hour. Um, I, I'll be kind of interested to see what the Micro does. No, apparently, this, the, apparently like the, um, the Micros in this are much close in terms of actual competition. Usually in these one-mate races, we absolutely blow them away when we've got the fully modified uh, racing vehicles, but apparently um, the ones in this micro race, um, they're, they're quite a bit more competent. Admittedly, um, apparently they cannot hold up to me in a straight line whatsoever, but they're, yeah, not too bad. I will say test course is nowhere near as bad on this game as it is in uh, GT4. Of course, as you meant, actually I believe in GT3 they remodeled it and then in GT4 it carried over as well. Uh, unfortunately, the test course hasn't been seen since, which, boo. Um, but anyway, yeah, uh, GT4 test course is a little bit longer than this one, and you can drive around it in the um, Benz Motenwagen, uh, which is amusing to me, of course, because that has one horsepower and was made in 1886. I, I to this day, do not know why that particular car was in Gran Turismo 4, but it was, and that's what makes it one of the best racing games ever. Again, it's very much between GT2 and GT4, uh, there we go, right one, um, as to what the best racing game of all time is. I know many people like Gran Turismo 3, I've never really been a huge fan, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, the car list really got me on that game, like there wasn't, I say it's got a bad car list, it's got 180 cars, I believe, in that game, and which, I mean, that isn't a bad number, but compared to 650 on, oh, sorry, I believe this one's actually 541, someone worked it out, and Gran Turismo 4's about 650 cars, um, which, yeah, you know, that's a pretty crazy number. Um, and the Gran Turismo series really exceeds with its sort of list of strange and weird cars. Um, and GT3 for me, like the racing was okay, but still, eh. I'm still going to do a Let's Play on it one day, eventually. I'm uh, not quite sure how soon after uh, GT2, GT3 will be, or whether I'll just even go straight to GT4. I might go back uh, to Gran Turismo 1. The reason I did 2 before 1 is because I know a lot more about two than I do about one. I haven't really played much of one, uh, so it's a pretty interesting uh, new territory for me, so that's why I decided to go with this one first. Anyways, we get 5,000 credits, and I will see you in a second. Okay, so there we go. As you can see, that is the end of the Micro Trophy. We've done both the normal style and the racing style race. 
Uh, next down we've got the GTR meeting, which should be pretty interesting. Still got to decide what uh, GTR I actually want to use for that. Anyways friends, I want to thank you all very much for watching today. My name's been The Real O'Meal, and until next time, farewell.